Hello Geminis, welcome back, welcome to your December 2019 reading. Oh my goodness Geminis, so before we get started I am doing your reading a little bit differently this month and these will be the topics that I'm going to ask Spirit to show me, messages for my Gemini. These are separate messages, okay? And this is what fell out during your pre-shuffle. So I will actually shuffle off camera because I'm going to be using five or six, maybe seven different decks. And I know you guys don't have the time for all that. So these are the messages here. She kind of wants you guys to see. You have something relating money. If you are in a financial trouble burden or taking maybe perhaps a risk, going maybe entrepreneurship route, starting your own business, leaving a job behind, maybe doing something different. There is a, I guess it must be a good percentage of my Gemini's uh, making some kind of money transitions or money investments this month. There are messages concerning that. Then we also have new love. If you guys are single, dating, and looking for somebody new, there is new love potential. Then it was very interesting this card also fell out. So some of you guys may be caught up in a third-party mess situation. And there's also something here. Oh my god, this is like the most interesting. This is like a very awesome reading. So there's also something in here for Twin Flames. You guys know how I shuffled and this is what fell out. Geminis, I am going to be uh, meditating on these four particular strong energies here, topics to discuss for December 2019. And please meditate and choose which one you need messages for. Pick that one. I'll provide the timestamps. You can go right to it. And also, Gemini, know that this is for those that have Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. And the person that you may be dealing with, I'm actually asking Spirit to show me all the energies that include Gemini somewhere in their chart. So the person you may be dealing with don't necessarily have to be a Gemini sun sign. They may also have it somewhere else in their Moon, their Rising, their Venus, North or South Node, wherever Gemini is very prominent, or if they have Gemini in their chart, their energies may pop up in your reading as well. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle and see what particular messages that my spirit guides want you guys to know um, concerning these four topics. You could be, you can resonate more than one. You can watch throughout the whole thing and maybe you'll get a little bit of information from all four. All right, Gemini. Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome back. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump right into those who felt very drawn to know a little bit more about their financial situation, circumstances. We have here, <clears throat> I've already pre-shuffled, and if you guys would like to see how some of these cards came out, I will include a small little clip at the end of the video for those who are, you know, like me who just gets surprised and shocked every single time I get these jumper cards. And this is actually what, you know, Spirit is trying to get you guys to know concerning this situation right now, concerning money. All right, <clears throat> so I'll have that little clip how these cards came out at the very end of the video. But Geminis, you had this message coming out, okay? It's very interesting because this card jumped out and, you know, along with money, the first uh, feeling that I got right away was this is um, a B involving some kind of financial risk coming up for you guys and it's taking to take that leap of faith. Extremes. But I looked something up and to my surprise or actually not really surprised at all. This card actually mentions something of money. It literally reads, learn how to handle crisis with calm and resilience. Seeking balance is superior to seeking extremes. There are better ways to handle conflict than rage and outrage. There may be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some way and this too shall pass this is concerning your money for those who are worried and wondering if someone's trying to disrupt your business in some kind of way you're protected here spirits really saying you're protected 
but there's something that you have to do. There could be an, um, some kind of job loss recently, possibly conflicts due to uh, employees, employers, upper management, whatever have you, whatever situation you're in. Something's about to quickly change for the better and or worse for that other person and for you. But just keep in mind that you are okay as long as you guys don't act in outrage or rage. It's very interesting soulmates also came out here. <clears throat> um, card number 34 and card number 41 and card number 30. For some of you guys, it could be 34, around 34, 41, around 41, or possibly 30. But I'm getting with TikTok, your financial circumstances are about to change, Gemini. But there's something you've been putting off. Maybe you've been postponing, not going to an interview, not signing a contract, not finishing something. You've been procrastinating. Spirit wants you to handle something this month. And they're going to make it and see it that it works out in your favor with the nine of coins. You have here independence. For those of you who are taking a leap of faith and leaving behind a soulmate and trying to gather your own independence and perhaps providing for yourself separating there could be some kind of loss or due to some kind of extreme circumstances you had to leave or go it's time to do it whatever it is you know what it is maybe it's in a very negative or toxic environment the three of wands here tells me that yeah you have a couple of options and this is possibly why you were procrastinating and why you couldn't really decide on which one to choose but here the cycle is about to end and complete for you so when you get the world card there's something new that's about to start for you i'm not saying it's going to be easy and all green light and everything but i feel like okay all of a sudden i just remember the last video that i did for my gemini's last month Something new is here, and the world does mean ending of a cycle. Something must end so that something new can begin. You could be partnering up with the soulmate card. You could have a partnership deal, going into some kind of partnership with somebody, with a business idea, with a business um, <clears throat> proposition on something maybe some of you guys are thinking about using the World Wide Web as your tool, you know, doing telemarketing or making sales online, maybe reaching out through shipping and handling, just a lot of globalization work with the world and soulmates and extremes and TikTok. I feel like a lot of you guys <clears throat> should really use this energy right now to um, feel... I don't know if you're starting to feel this like, okay, I have to, you know, start doing it now. No time to waste. You are absolutely right. Follow your hunch and your intuition about it because an opportunity is going to be golden for you and it will stand out from the rest which one is the right to take, which one is the right one to pick. If you can see here, she's turning her back on these two other ones and she's going for this one. This specific one, you don't know why she chose it, but she knows it. She knows why, and she sees long-term potential, prosperity, and a good investment, sound investment in making this choice. I do see money rolling in for you guys <clears throat> abundantly. So whatever risk, take a calculated risk. Um, if something doesn't feel right, if it feels a bit extreme, and it's like going against your will, and it just feels very unnerving to you, spirit saying to talk, do something about it right now, don't procrastinate any longer, your money is looking good, it's going to start rolling in, your tides are shifting all about your bank roll and your bank account, okay, um, I feel like this is going to add a few digits into um, your checking your savings account. All right, let's see what else I can get out of this message for you guys, Gemini. I'm going to end this video here. And overall, I want to mention, when I was shuffling, all of you guys, you will see this at the end of the video. All of you guys had this card for all four. There's a change in the wind concerning your finances. Um, if you are already partnered up with someone, I'm also getting this message that they are there next to you and will be by your side and they are 
not going to, um, they're there for your best interest. Something that you're doing is well received and well looked after by your spirit guides. But they want you to hurry. You feel like it's a missed opportunity, maybe there's no chance, and maybe it's just cloudy confusion. You can't really see clear through it. This is maybe saying, okay, start. Maybe it's failed in the past, or maybe you didn't earn as much in the past. I feel like your money is about to shift this month. Um, some of you guys who are looking for jobs, employment, or a new, um, you know, just looking for a new job. Yeah, we have the sun. It's looking good, so expect callbacks. Expect emails, expect a lot of interviews for those of you who are looking for new careers or career changes. This could be an extreme career change too. I'm talking about if you were used to be in the technical field, in IT or something, you make a drastic change and you want to do something more crafty and you know, you want to go into the arts now. Do you want to become a musician? You want to be an artist? You know, there's possibly an extreme employment change, but doing whatever that feeds your soul is going to be very nourishing for your soul growth, and your money's going to be um, all right. Okay, Gemini. All right, group two. Let's see. For those who are very drawn and want to know a little bit more about the new love topic that Spirit has for you guys at this time, let's go ahead and see. Um, Gemini. Whoa, okay. Yeah, this actually came out, if you see at the end of the clip, um, this did jump out. New life with new love. How synchronistic is this message? Um... We have also abundance, thinker, the ten of cups, the two of wands, and the queen of cups. Okay, Gemini, this is what I'm getting here for you guys. Um, what Spirit wants you guys to know concerning new love is this person is quite a bit of a thinker. When you meet this person, either you or them, I'm feeling one is a bit shy and possibly a little bit more introverted. They may actually, in the Meyer Briggs test, may be more of a thinker than a feeler, but I feel like for most of you guys, you can really resonate and relate with this person when it comes to communication you guys are going to get along very well um, not only is this person going to freely be able to talk about their feelings and you guys have a lot of different topics to talk about there's never really a dull moment is kind of what i'm feeling this person is also going to usher in this like new profound life that you're going to have with abundance. This is to me like you're going to be emotionally satisfied, physically taken care of, you know, financially supported. Um, whatever it is, it could be you helping this person, you know, he or she or same sex. I did, you know, there's complete. Um, no segregation of anything on this channel, but I'm just keeping it general. But whatever it is, um, I'm also getting Gemini, that there could be a stagnation or you're waiting to get out of something right now, currently, to begin something new. Now, spirit usually works in a really weird and mysterious way, and I've seen it, and I know it from my own personal experience. Usually something big and exciting and profound as this doesn't normally start until baggage is cleared from the past. And that's why I really feel like with the two of wands here, she's like, you know, time to let this go. Let's go for this one. And this is going to be a new life for you. I don't know if it's going to involve some kind of travel or movement. Some of you, I will call out the numbers since I did that for the other one. This could just make it more fun for you guys since Spirit's trying to resonate with you guys and speak to you. For those who it resonates with and whose energies I'm picking up strongly in here, you may be, here we have 38, maybe turning 39, or 39 going into 40. Here we also have 44. We have 2, 10, and a queen. 
So you could be seeing a lot of numbers too. 222, two, two. you could be seeing 1010, ten. Um, you could also be seeing a lot, hearing a lot of things about a particular water sign. Um, I don't know why I feel like saying that to my Gemini. Gemini, if you've been watching certain readers and you've been going to your, you know, to your reading from my channel and other channels, and other awesome great readers have been mentioning something of the water sign of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Very likely they are going to be somewhat relevant or play a significant role in your life very soon. I feel like this person, because like, it's a queen, and majority of my viewers on this channel are women, I'm getting that this is more of you guys embodying the queen cups. Queen cups is completely in love. Okay, to me, when I see the Queen of Cups next to the Ten of Cups, yeah, she's in love. She's like, this is my partner. This is the one. I don't want to date. don't want to see anybody else. There's no question, hands down, this is my dude. This is my guy. <clears throat> Where have you been my whole life? <clears throat> but it's very interesting. I'll clarify this for you guys, for Thinker. <clears throat> I'm also getting Gemini. This person... Not only are they, this could be you too, but they could come off very, be, I'm feeling like, well, I'm more, more mature. They could be a little bit younger than you. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but they're wiser beyond their years. I'm getting that, you know, this person comes off a lot more mature um, than they, <clears throat> than um, their, their peers, possibly. But I'm getting here with Thinker, this could also be you, Gemini. You're just like, is this really the one? Whenever you guys feel this urge or this push towards this new person, I'm feeling very synchronistic in your reading. So this is like if you didn't want to go to a party, you don't want to go to someone's house, you don't want to go somewhere, you just feel like staying at home, then all of a sudden you're like, all right, F it, I'm just going to go. Then you meet this very attractive, significant other on that particular day, on the day you weren't even supposed to be there, didn't even really want to go. There is some kind of synchronicity in here, okay? You guys were meant to encounter each other, so don't overthink it, just enjoy it, is really what Spirit is saying. They're bringing this person into your life because it's about to change your life in a very meaningful way. For those of you who've been praying and wishing and, you know, asking your spirit guides and your angels to usher in or give you some kind of new life, well, here it is, about to happen, December going into January, Gemini. I mean, this could be already going on right now for those of you who... Are possibly dating somebody but I'm getting this person stands out from all the rest this isn't giving me a third party vibe at all this is like I know who you're talking about it could be a fire sign or an air sign I'm feeling a little bit more like with the thinker I'm getting this person has strong Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their chart somewhere. This person's also, I don't know why I'm getting this because none of the cards are giving me that um, feeling, but I'm really feeling you're going to be magnetically drawn to this person because they have a little bit of a bad boy persona, but they're ready to settle down. Like you love this weird, like silent yet cool, calm and collected vibe about them. You know they're they're not like a pushover or a wimp or whatever. Like they can really protect you. And there's something about this person like, you know, when they are around you, you just feel safe. Like nothing could hurt you. Or this is going to be how you treat this other person, right? Like um, if you're the male watching right now and you meet this person, you just automatically feel like this level of protection, wanting to protect them. I'm getting this really like... Um, you know, just like this really safe feeling. <clears throat> All right, Gemini. Let's see what this thinker is. And I feel like with you guys, you guys may actually, if you're dating right now or going into see judgment, something is about to happen for you guys, those who picked new love or felt drawn to the message of new love spirit saying this is about to give you that new life.
that you've been waiting for, that you totally deserve. Maybe for a lot of you guys will feel like this is too good to be true. Can I trust this person? Probably with the thinker. It does come with the master number 44. So for me, I want you guys to know you guys are protected and watched for just so with the flow. Leave your baggage in the past, whatever it is, leave it behind. <clears throat> Gemini, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves here, but with this, I actually want to say, I feel like this could be the person you actually end up marrying, okay? So this is someone who, <laughs> yeah, Hierophant is my marriage card, someone who could be a Taurus, someone who's very cultured, someone who may be a different race, different, um, have maybe a different ethnic background, different religion, maybe the same, I don't know, the Hierophant here can tell um, since I'm doing a general reading, it could resonate with you guys in many different ways, but what's coming to my, my thought right now, as I'm seeing this, I'm seeing they could come from a different ethnic background. Um, you guys may have different religions or different practices. You have different spiritual beliefs, but I feel very, like, even though you guys have spiritual beliefs, you learn a lot from one another. And you guys are both very accepting of it. You guys both can join your thoughts and agree to disagree at times. And it becomes like a learning, you know, thing. And it, it really works for you guys. I feel like it just works. There's no struggle here. It's just going to just come together very nicely with the Hierophant. They, are, they hold the key to your heart. And what I'm also saying, I'm seeing this person could be the one you're marrying besides the marriage card right here. We have also the Son of Cups with the Queen of Cups. Okay, you may actually have a kid. Water sign is probably this person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with this person. And I believe you may actually... That's cool. You guys, a lot of you guys will actually be getting pregnant, impregnated by this person, having a kid. Your firstborn will probably likely be a son. Uh, sorry to spoil the surprise for you guys. But um, also getting this person is very artistic. On a side note, this person is very artistic. You may actually meet them. Um, they like to draw. They like to paint they like to play music they're very musically talented or musically inclined um they're very intuitive okay this person really takes and dresses well they um and that's what you also love to gemini you like it with a little bit of an edge a little bit rough around the shoulders but you know you also like it when they really take care of themselves you know they present themselves nicely in a way and they know how to, you know, swoon you pretty much. And this is what I'm getting, Gemini's. Wow, it's 11.44 when I saw um, I was about to end your video. Your message in this, this one is a feeling like a very divinely orchestrated um, soulmate here. Even though I'm not getting soulmate, I'm getting a divinely protected and guided soulmate in this reading. All right, bye, Gems. Hello to my beautiful Geminis. For those of you who that were drawn to group three. And now this was interesting when I was pre-shuffling, it did roll out. Initially, I wanted just to get three main topics for discussion today for my Geminis. And one that Spirit actually wanted to add or throw in there was if you guys find yourself in a third party scenario, this is actually what Spirit messages, what you guys have as your Spirit messages. Okay. <laughs> You guys will see at the very end of the reading that these cards did fall out. I did not pick them. This is what Spirit wanted me to see as I was shuffling through it. And it's interesting how I think I actually showed this um, when I was getting to this card. It says clean it up. <laughs> Funny. With um, third party scenario, don't our angels and spirit guides have a little bit of a sense of humor? They said clean it up. Okay. Here we also have path, flexible, 
We have strength, the five of coins, and the seven of cups. Okay, so those of you Geminis, if you are finding yourself maybe either been knowing, have been knowing, or just recently found out and did not expect to be in a third party scenario where you know nobody wants to be in a triangle, right? So if you are finding yourself in this in this um, predicament, spirits really saying they understand, they see that you know, you are hoping to get out of this. You are wanting a new beginning. But I feel like you really want a new beginning with this person, but you're seeing it as like it is a waste of your time. It's like if your time is invaluable to them, then their time is invaluable to you. You know, this is time to leave. You're looking at like, look at all of her surrounding here. Intuitively, I'm seeing the ladder to a new life with the path. She's envisioning something new and different for herself and perhaps is not currently what she's in or in this current moment because she feels alone, okay? <clears throat> and there's a little message here. The Spirit's saying to clean it up, okay? So if, if you guys are the one that is maybe seeing somebody to more than one person right now, then this is saying, okay, clean up your mess. Not my messages, you guys. I could care less what you do, but this is really <laughs> what. Um, no offense, but this is really you know what spirit's saying. It's like maybe you have a chance with the partner of a lifetime, but it's becoming really messy. It's becoming really like you know like they're getting jealous. They're trying to say um, there's drama happening in this you know with clean it up in the path it's like i'm finding or feeling my gemini's don't want this don't want to be involved in this maybe there are two people for you guys to choose but here we have here don't be controlling with flexibility flexible i feel like for those who are in a third party scenario the situation is about to change for you you are maybe either dropping somebody or they're dropping you. Here we have strength card. I think it's time to go. It's time to reset boundaries. It's time to earn or regain that dignity and just knowing that you are too good to be in a third party situation. For all of my Geminis, because here we have, you know, the five of coins. You know, this is a lack of instability, lack of stability, which is instability. And this could not even like put you in some kind of financial misfortune. You know, they could have put you in limbo financially. This makes you feel alone in the relationship. This is just maybe for somebody it was good for the time being. This was comfort. This was, you know, just... You know, with flexible, I'm kind of starting to feel it's kind of like whatever. I don't really care about the future with this person so much. Um, they're kind of like getting me, providing me what I need in the current time. So, you know, this is for me, if anything's more temporary than permanent. And Spirit's saying this is as far it's going to go. Um, <clears throat> we're starting a new year. This is going to be the last month of the decade. So let's jump into our new year's resolution with something other than a third party situation. It's time to get out of this mess and something new is about to show up for you guys. And I feel like with the path, somebody here has been almost like draining you, wasting your time. Okay. You're starting to feel like, okay, those are months and years of my life that I cannot get back. It's time for me to focus on me and that's awesome Gemini's but be flexible with the changes that are about to happen it could be completely new and exciting yet terrifying at the same time with strength trust that nothing that happens isn't to you it's for you so this is going to be a miracle and a blessing in disguise I'm saying something's gonna have to crumble something's gonna have to come apart Something may make you feel a bit uneasy, but trust me, for long-term benefit, this is going to make you feel a lot better with strength. You could be dealing with a Leo. <clears throat> okay. Why is there the Five of Pentacles? 
For some of you guys could be thinking about moving out, relocating, or you're perhaps moving in with somebody else, or finding a place of your own. Yeah. Look at that, Gemini. You have the two of cups waiting for you just both, just right after this path. Look at this. Like whatever it is, there's this new beginning that's about to happen for you guys with the fool. This is taking a leap of faith, a risk. <clears throat> and it's saying if you clean it up, if you're willing to take the steps to clean up whatever mess this is, your spirit guides are going to make sure there's a new fire, there's a new glow, there's a new chance, a new opportunity, an exciting fortune events about to clear up for you guys. <clears throat> All right, Gemini. Um, I just wanted to mention a change in the wind is coming. This was the overall energy card that I got for all four of those messages. And trust that your spirit guides want you guys to know a change is coming. They realize maybe there is somebody here. If you're involved in a third party situation, they're choosing you with a new beginning. All right. Bye, Gemini's. Hello, group four. My beautiful Geminis, those who were drawn to this auspicious card, the Twin Flame card. Let's see what spirit wants you guys to know concerning me. December 2019 going into January. Okay. All right, Geminis. This is going to be a big reading. A lot of people don't understand and don't really have a definition or can really relate and try to understand what is the difference between twin flame and a soulmate. And if you have to ask that, then very likely you haven't met yours yet. But these are for those when you saw this, you're like, I knew it. I knew it. My soul knew it. This is a confirmation for you, Gems. Um... You know, this is kind of cool how it kind of came out in the pre-shuffle. Okay, so this is definitely for those who are going to resonate entirely with Twin Flame. They just knew it down in their gut that that's their twin. They don't need definition. They don't need proof. They just see it in signs, synchronicities, numbers, and symbols everywhere. Okay, <clears throat> Here are your spirit messages, Gemini. We have the card of Imagine. Oh, yes, we also have the card of Fear. This came out um, during your pre shop. If you want to see how some of these cards came out, I did include a little clip. Stay after this video and you will see how these actually jumped out for these specific topics that spirit wants you guys to know about for December. Okay, truth be told, the Ten of Coins, the Three of Swords, the Lovers, okay, the Chariot, and the Six of Cups. Okay, for this particular group, Gemini, you, um, now I'm starting to remember, you actually had a lot of jumpers as I was doing your reading. If you want to go back to, if you resonated with the other topics that were mentioned in this video, you'll see how most, um, the other two or three, the other three piles didn't have this many cards. Well, yours really just kept jumping out back to back with all of these. So I think this was Spirit telling me to take all of them, and so I did. And it was very interesting how these two came out together and how these two came out together. Well, actually, these three came out together. We have three of swords with the lovers. This is telling me some of you guys who have a twin flame that is in a third party situation is very interesting because the third party or triangle um, relationship is actually one of the topics that fell out. Please go check. I'll provide the timestamps below. But this is telling me, Gemini, this is also your card. With the Three of Swords, this could be you completely heartbroken that your twin flame is possibly in a relationship with somebody else, possibly married, or this could be you. You're involved in a relationship with a soulmate or a karmic instead of your twin flame. 
in the current moment. <clears throat> now, I'm getting for this group, you guys do think about each other incredibly a lot. You guys are on each other's mind almost 24-7. Okay, you guys are possibly wondering or thinking how this is going to work, um, how this is going to all work out with this person in your past reconciliation. You may be thinking of reconciling with this person who you haven't seen, heard of, or spoken to in a while, or maybe you guys do talk, but it never, it, it, it's not like that you know anymore because there is a breakup here i'm feeling with this message is fear concerning the past one or both of you guys are very scared of bringing certain topics and or discussions to light to be discussed or to put on the table for discussion something here is like you guys just rather not talk about it just kind of want to avoid the white elephant in the room you know it's kind of like Whatever it is, somebody here is just dodging something. Let's just both pretend like we're fine and it doesn't bother us and we can co, you know, <clears throat> we, it's like we can coexist. But there is something like a burning desire or a burning anticipation to want to say something here which should be told. I feel like there is some kind of honesty or an honest discussion that's coming up in the future for you guys. There's something maybe particularly about this person that they are holding back from you. They want to say to you but don't know how to. Here we have fear. You know, very fearful of maybe rejection, fearful how you may react, fearing how it may actually pan out and work out in the future, fearing to leave a certain relationship because it offers them stability, financial security, emotional contentment. So why would they give up something that involves such a high degree of risk, right? This is um, a human nature and it's a 3D way of looking at things, but once we shatter that illusion, we actually obtain what's actually ours because when you are in a twin flame reunion, you can't have fear. Fear doesn't really, I mean, yeah, obviously we're human, right? There's fear always, but you guys have to trust in each other that you guys are each other's source of happiness and you are also your own source of happiness. You guys are going to be fine. There is a level of fear here. I'm going to try to look at what that is, but I'm getting there's also possibly some kind of changes of movement, family dynamic, work, home, or career. Um, it involved possibly one or both of you guys to move or travel away, but I do see that this is going to be blessings and good news coming and when it is about this twin flame, that twin flame of yours. If you could see here, the chariot is arriving, but she, arriving, but she's looking in a different direction. She's not seeing the blessings coming in towards her, something that's going to make her Keep in mind, needing to make a very difficult decision and to actually jump and get on board of this chariot when it does come or it's going to leave her behind. But this is going towards victory and success. Something here for some of you guys maybe haven't encountered a twin and this is your twin flame coming and arriving on the chariot. This could be someone who is a cancer. Here we also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ten of Coins, this is, I feel like, more in this reading. You guys have known each other before in the past. Some of you guys have actually this soul recognition. When you have found, when you met this person, you just felt like you've known each other forever. Even if it's been only a few minutes, a few seconds. You just felt like, how come, like, we just clicked. We're like two peas in a pod. Like, where have you been my whole life? How come it just feels so natural? Why are we so similar and yet so different? There is that feeling here with the past life relationship of the Ten of Pentacles. There has been a history, a long history between you two souls. You could have shared past lives with them. You could have been married to them in your past life. They could have been your family member. In some way, they could have been an old friend, a good friend, some way, shape, or form. They were around you. They had a very close and, you know, sacred, if not very intimate and very loving relationship with you at some time in the past. And here we have Three of Swords and the Lovers right now. 
situation right now, Spirit wants you guys to know maybe there's a choice, there's a de decision between two people. But I feel like if this is you and them, both of you are feeling very heartbroken and torn and wishing they were the other person instead of the other person involved. You can see here this third part is looking here. But this is also someone who's looking back in the past, who is being very reminded of what happened, still replaying this heartbreak, this, <clears throat> you know, um, feeling of something that happened that they wish to change. And the Spirit's saying you guys will have this opportunity in the future to discuss something. Truth be told, what you think that you can completely know about this person, yeah, it's not it at all. Something from the past is completely resolved. It going into 2020, something is completely resolved. We have here the Father of Swords and the Three of Pentacles, okay? So here, there it could be an Aquarius, a Libra, Gemini. This is also your card. This is someone who is very cold, sharp, analytical, and logical right now. They don't want drama. They don't want any emotional baggage or drama here. But something is about to, to change with the world is the the last major arcana in tarot. This is saying it has ran its course of whatever that you were supposed to experience with this person. Going into December, there's going to be massive healing and surrendering to this relationship, whether it's you or this other person. Someone's coming to a full recognition and realization of who this person is going to, who this person is and who they're meant to be with. They're saying it. Okay, but they're going to have to make major life decisions. Major life events would happen. Um, something is about to shift extremely between the two of you guys. And it is going to work. You guys are going to possibly move mountains together, right? This is not going to be easy. But this is collaboration. This was meant to be. And this is supposed to, this is unity. This is trinity. This is a very spiritual connection. Here, experience is going to make it, sh make it sure, make sure that this does work out. But I'm seeing right now, trouble is fear and truth. But imagining, so twin flames, I just want to add, you guys are powerful, strong manifest manifestors. So here we have the card of imagine. Spirit wants you guys to imagine what you want and not what you don't want. Not thinking about the past and the, you know, the negative things that happen because you're just going to replay that again. And there's no point in that. You've learned from it. The world let it go so that something new can begin. Okay, Geminis, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Love you guys very much. Happy holidays and... Please comment, like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments how this resonated with you. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.